Hey, just wanted to say that the class that you're about to enjoy was taken from the Boho Beautiful Transform Fitness Program, which is a new generation fitness program that we created in beautiful Turks and Caicos for you. It is an incredible program that is meant to help you take your strength and your physical potential to that next level. Because to us, working out isn't just about looking good on the outside, but it's truly about building that inner strength from within so you can shine from the inside out. So if this is something that speaks to you, go ahead and click the link in the description of the video and you can find out all the information there. With that, hope you enjoy your practice. Welcome to Total Body Cardio Sweat Class. To begin our journey today, this class is going to target and wake up every muscle in your body. This full cardio hit class is going to be all about boosting your metabolism and getting you into that fat burning zone to make sure that you can continue to burn extra calories even after the workout is done. Before beginning the class today, I want you to think about the goal that you have set out for yourself. The reason why you wanted to begin this journey. Let that reason, that intention be what pushes you forward today. At any point that you begin to feel your body wanting to give up, let that idea and intention be the driving force that gets you to go one step further. All you will need for today's class is your mat and of course some water to keep yourself hydrated. So if you're ready, let's begin. All right, so to begin our class today, we're gonna to start at the center of your mat. Bring your feet out wide, placing your hands onto the hips. You're gonna begin by bending the knees, squatting down and releasing the chest to the floor and then rolling yourself up. So nice, gentle movement here. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, up. Lead with the chest, inhale. Head comes down last. Exhale, round up. Head comes up last. And again, inhale, get down low. Exhale, round yourself up. And again, we're just warming up the body, making sure you're ready for what's to come. Awesome, let's go ahead now, reach both arms up to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're gonna take one hand over to the hip and reach over to the side. Nice big side stretch, making sure that your hips and your shoulders are facing towards the screen. And just breathing deeply here into the side of your body, looking up towards the sky. So you're really getting that gentle twist in as well. And let's take it to the other side, same thing. Now other hand to the hip and reaching the other arm over to the side of the room here. Just breathing deeply. Sending oxygen into that area of your body, warming up the muscles. Awesome. And back to center, let's do that one more time. So hand over to the hip. Now try to reach a little bit further now than the first time. So go a little bit deeper into the stretch and then releasing the hand to the floor, both hands on the mat. Now the leg that's further away from your hands, you're gonna bend the knee there and just holding this side lunge stretch, really getting into the growing muscle into your hamstring slightly, warming up the hips here. Now you don't have to go too low. From here, come to center and then pivot the hips and make sure that your knee is facing to the front of your mat. Coming into a high lunge, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you can extend the front knee and allow your forehead to come down towards your shin. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, extend. Working with the breath here, really getting into the hamstring. We wanna make sure that every muscle is warmed up before we get into any other cardio movements here. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, extend. Just focus on the breath. Really think about pulling that front hip back and pushing the back hip forward. So we wanna make sure that the shoulders and the hips are facing towards the same angle of the mat. Beautiful, one more inhale. 
long exhalation out of your nose as you slowly bring yourself back to your high lunge. And to transition now, just pivot the back foot and bending into that side lunge for a second and then up into standing position and then going right to the other side. So the other hand over to the hip. Now reach with the other arm all the way across the side of your body. So really reaching as if you're trying to touch the wall there. Going a little bit deeper than the first time through. Breathing deeply into that side of your body and then release both hands to the mat. Bending that leg that's further away from your hands. Going into a side lunge here. And again, just breathe into that inner growing muscle. Warming up the hips here. Breathing deeply, go as low as you can without lifting the back heel off the floor. And then pivoting over into your lunge on the other side. Square off the hips, bend the knee. Inhale. And then exhale, extend the front leg and get that forehead down to your knee. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, extend. It's really important that we work with the breath here. So inhale, you come forward. And then as you exhale, all the air out. Let go, let your forehead come down towards your shin one more time. And exhale, pushing back. And let's hold it here now, going much deeper into that hamstring. Square off the hips. So if you're on your left side, you're pulling the left hip back and pushing the right hip forward. Breathe. Really think about folding from the hips here. If you need to use any sort of blocks to help you, you can always have those handy. All right, let's come out. Go ahead and bend your knee forward, pivoting the back foot so you're coming into that side lunge. Deep breath in, and then as you exhale, slowly bring yourself up to center, and then hop together with your feet, and that was our warm up. We're gonna begin with our first cardio exercise, our jump squats. You're gonna simply jump out into a big squat and then come back in one minute on the clock. Ready? Let's go, jump it out, bring it in. Two, and in. Three, now get nice and low with your hips. Four, keep your hands in front of you or you can keep your hands on the hips if that's a little bit easier. Just find the right momentum for you here. You don't have to follow my pace, you can slow it down or you can speed it up if you're feeling comfortable with this but I want you to really get low with the hips so you're starting to feel those quadriceps warming up, getting the heart rate up, jump out and in, jump out and in, jump out. You're doing great, keep going. Out, in, out, in, lots of power. Make sure you're breathing throughout this exercise. Exhale out of your mouth if you need to. Get lots of oxygen into that body. Do not hold your breath. And out, in, out, in, keep going, you're almost done. I'm with you on this one. Just breathe through it. Do not stop, whatever you gotta do. Even if you have to slow down the pace of this jump. Last one, and done, awesome. Go ahead and step to the front of your mat. We're gonna get into our next exercise, lunge step backs. All you're gonna do first is just get nice and low, bend your knees so you get that feeling of where you wanna go. Now from here, step back into a lunge and bring yourself back up, alternating legs for two. Bring those arms up to the sky as you step into a lunge position. We got four. And again, you can choose how low you wish to go with your hips. I tend to go pretty low, but you do not have to do the same. You can just do a gentle step back and in. And step back, arms up, bring it to center. Switch legs, step back and center. Last one. Now hold this position, reaching the arms up. And now extend the front knee, bend both knees on your exhale, arms to the side for one. Bend both knees and two. Now strong arms here, lots of power as you come down. Keep that back knee as low to the mat as possible and you got for five. Reach it up, bend both knees, six. And exhale, seven. Reach up, bend the knees, exhale, eight. And nine. Last one. Hold that 10. Now just keep that back knee hovering above the mat. Pull the navel into the spine. Hold it here. Feel the engagement in your legs. You got this. We're almost done. Stay low. Last few seconds. Great job. Now reach with the arms forward. 
Release the hands to the mat and then step yourself back into a plank position. Moving into our next cardio exercise, mountain climbers, modified version, bring one knee in at a time and keep the toes touching the floor. So you can just do this for a whole 30 seconds. However, if you'd like to challenge yourself, you can do the full speed mountain climbers. All right, so I'm gonna do the full speed, but take the modified version if you need to. Let's go, one, two. Now, if you're doing the full version, try to get that knee as high as you can to your chest. Speed it up as fast as you can. If you're doing the modified version, just get that knee up. You're doing great. Just breathe through it. Keep going, don't stop. Moving those knees as fast as you can. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back into plank position, bend the knees and then hop forward to the front of your mat. Great job, you guys. Go ahead and come up to standing and we're gonna come up with the arms and we're gonna take our lunge step backs on the other leg. So when you're ready, go ahead and bend the knees just so you can get nice and low with the hips. Step back into your lunge and then up to standing. Step back and up, step back and up. So move those arms as well, bring them up as the leg steps back into the lunge. When you're coming to center, both feet touch together. Nice and controlled here. Make sure you're breathing through this exercise. I know your heart is pounding now from our last exercise, so just control the breath. Try to slow down the heart rate just by a little bit. Almost done. Step back. Now let's hold this lunge position. Make sure you're doing your other side lunge. And then extend the front leg. Reach both arms up. On your exhale, bend both knees for one. Extend and exhale, bring it down for two. Bending both knees, the other knee hovers above the floor. Four and up. Five and up. Make sure the shoulders are down away from the ears as the arms come down. Keep going nice and strong. And seven. Reach it up. Get that knee low. Eight and nine. Your last one. You're going to freeze and hover that back knee above the floor. Just hold it there for me. A perfect 45 degree angle with both knees. Hold. Breathe. Get that knee low. Don't touch the ground with it though. Just let it hover. You're almost done. And reach the arms forward. Extend the back leg. Drop the hands. And then stepping back into your plank position. All right, friends, we're going to go into our mountain climbers one more time. Remember, modified version is just to slow it down, keeping the foot on the floor if you have to. And of course, the advanced version is to do the full mountain climber with me. You ready? Let's go. 30 seconds. And just keep going. Try to get those knees as high as you can. Think about touching your chest with your knees. Staying flat, though, in that plank position so you don't want the hips to come up high. Breathe through it with me. Just focus on the breath. You're doing amazing. Keep going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The clock is ticking. You're almost done. Pushing yourself. Last few seconds. Two, one. Beautiful. Come on down. Bend your knees and just take yourself back into a child's pose position. Just a quick second break here. Catch your breath. Just breathe deeply. If you need to drink water, go ahead and grab a drink of water. You can get a drink at any point in this class if you feel like your body needs it. Great job. Just breathe a couple more seconds. Coming back to your breath. Last inhale. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring ourselves up to our all fours position and get into our next exercise, our alternate leg Pilates push-ups. So all you're going to do is just bend both elbows, kick one leg back up, and then switch and back to center. So let's keep going. Working the triceps here, so we want to keep the elbows pointing to the back of the mat. Your hands are close to the side of your body. Bring it down and up. Bring it down, kicking one leg behind you each time you come down. Good, lots of power here in the arms. Bring it down and up. Bring it down and up. Try to get your chest as low as you can to the mat. Last one. Awesome, come back to center and bring yourself forward now into a plank position. We're just gonna hold this plank now. All I want you to do is focus on the position of your body. So make sure the shoulders are directly over top of your wrist. You're pulling the belly button into the spine, so engaging those deeper core muscles. You can keep your feet out slightly wider or closer together, whatever is more comfortable here for you. 
Just breathe. Really focus on staying in this beautiful straight line. We are almost done, so I just want you to breathe through it. Don't give up. Great job. Bend the knees now. You're going to hop forward to the front of your mat and then make your way over to your mat with your body. So bend the knees. We're going to take our next exercise, rolling like a ball, coming back to center, placing the hands behind you, extend the legs, bring it in, arms forward, take your ball again. So roll it to center, hands, extend, in, release. Roll, come back to boat, hands onto the mat, extend the legs, bring them in, reach the arms forward. Great job, so just keep going with this momentum, making sure your hands are on the mat when you extend into your canoe, so you're giving yourself some support. In, center, hands, extend, in, release the hands forward. Roll it back, back to boat, hands on the mat, extend, bring it in, and center. Roll it back, forward, hands on the mat, extend, bring it in, and center, you're almost done here. Working the core muscles, so really trying to find that stability, control with your entire body. Roll it back, and center, hands, legs extend, bring it in, center. Last one, roll it back, and boat, hands to the floor, extend, Bring it back to boat. Now last one, I just want you to hold. Now cross your ankles, bend the knees, stepping back into plank, and then slowly making your way up into your downward dog by lifting the hips up. Feel a stretch in the back of your hamstrings, and then bend the knees, and release into child's pose. Now you can stay here for about a minute, or take this opportunity right now to grab a drink of water, grab a towel, do whatever you gotta do, because we're going to repeat this entire round through one more time. So this is your break here. So do what your body needs right now. Now once you grab a drink of water, if you'd like to just come back into child's pose here and breathe for a moment until we're ready to come back up, you can do so as well. If you are in your child's pose, I just want you to breathe and feel that gentle stretch in the shoulders by keeping the arms forward. Feeling the heart beating in your chest, just feeling your body working hard. We're getting into our fat burning zone. We're burning calories, we're getting the body moving. This is our day one of our cardio class, so you're doing an incredible job. You got another round to go and a few extra fun exercises I'm gonna throw at you today. But you're almost done. Just stay with me. You're doing an amazing job. All right. So if you're in your child's pose, go ahead and come back up to your mat. Coming to the center here with your feet together, going into our first cardio exercise, our jump squats. So bring your hands in front of you or onto your hips. When you're ready, you're going to hop out, bring it in for one. You got one minute on the clock of these exercises. Take it to your own tempo. Slow it down or speed it up. Whatever you do, I want you to focus on getting those hips as low as you can in that squat position. And in, jump high if you can. Breathe deeply, keep your breath controlled with the movement here. Focusing on the body, on the breath. You got this, the clock is ticking. Just breathe through it, get low with those hips. In, out, don't stop, whatever you gotta do. If you gotta slow down the movement, slow it down, but do not stop the cardio exercise. We're in this together, we're almost done, you guys. Out, in, out, get low with the hips. We got a few seconds left on the clock. Push yourself to your maximum potential and you're done, great job. Come to the front of your mat, going into our step out lunges. So reach both arms up. Now we're gonna add a little extra arm movement here today for the second round. Let's reach the arms up. As you step back into a lunge, you're gonna bend those elbows and squeeze the shoulder blades together, alternating legs for two. So squeeze the shoulder blades together like a lap pull down. Step back and squeeze, and up. Step back and squeeze, reach the arms up. Step back, bend your elbows, and up. Step back. Step back. 
Great job, almost done. Hold this last one, open the body, extend the arms, extend the front knee. On your exhalation, you're going to bend both knees. This time, your opposite arm comes forward, the other arm comes back into a little twist. So reach center and then twist for two. Good. Bend both knees, reach the left arm forward, right arm back. Twist and up. So same deal here. You want to get that back knee low to the ground but not touching the floor. Bring it in, extend both legs. A little twist from the belly button. So now we're also targeting the waistline here at the same time as we're working the lower body. Last one. Hold it there and I just bring both arms up. Interlace the fingers and make a gun position with your hands. Keep that back knee hovering. I just want you to hold it there. That's all you're doing. Really think about pulling the navel into the spine. So as you're holding this position, you're also engaging your core. Last breath, and let's release both hands onto the mat. You're gonna step back into your plank position. Going back into our mountain climbers again, just to remind you, modification for it is just to take it a little slower and bring one knee at a time. Take it at your own pace. If you wanna go a little more advanced and follow me, you're gonna speed it up. Ready? 30 seconds, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Whichever version you're doing, really focus on getting that knee as close to your chest as possible. Keep going, get those knees nice and high. If you like to challenge yourself, speed it up. See how fast you can do this exercise. Clock is ticking, you're doing an amazing job. Keep pushing yourself. Your body is getting tired now, so I want you to push even harder. We're almost done, last few seconds. And plank position, great job. Go ahead and hop forward to the front of your mat. Bring yourself up, arms up. Let's go ahead into our next set of our step back lunges one more time. Bending the elbows and squeezing the shoulder blades when you're ready. Let's go step it back, squeeze and center. Squeeze and center. See if you can go a little bit lower with the hips if your body allows that today. If not, just step a little closer to the center of your mat, but really think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Great job, keep going. Step it back and center. Step it back and center. Alternate the legs. Squeeze the shoulder blades, feet together. Squeeze the shoulder blades, feet together. Last one, step back. Make sure it's the other leg that you haven't done yet. Extending the front knee. Now as both knees bend, opposite arm forward, the other arm comes back. That's one. So a little twist from the waist here. That's two. Twist and three. The back knee comes low to the ground. And four. This is again a great exercise to trim the waistline as we're also targeting and strengthening those legs. And center. Twist and center. Twist and center. Now last one, come down low, hover the back knee, square off the shoulders, interlace the fingers, pointing the index fingers up to the sky and just hold it. That's all I want you to do is focus on holding this position. Hips are square, tuck that tailbone under. Back knee is hovering, you're almost done. And then releasing the hands to the mat, stepping back into your plank position our last set of mountain climbers. You know what to do now, modify if you need to, otherwise let's go, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep going. Get those knees nice and high, I want you to push through it. This is getting harder because your body's getting more tired. Don't let your mind win. Focus on your goals, your intentions you set in the beginning of this class today. You're almost done. Push through it. Last few seconds on the clock. And you're done. Plank position. Come down with your knees to the floor. Just take a quick second break here in your child's pose. This is a moment for you to catch your breath. Breathe. Again, if you need a drink of water, grab a drink of water here. Just allow yourself to catch your breath. Focus on the inhalation and the exhalation before we get into our next exercise, the alternate leg push-ups. All right, so if you're ready, take a deep breath in. Let's come up to all fours position. Keep those hands close to your body, elbows pointing to the back. Extend one leg, bring it down into a push-up. 
Center, switch legs for two. And center. And three, get your chest as low to the ground as possible, almost touching. And bring it down. And center. Bring it down. And center. Bring it down. And center. And this is a wonderful way to tone up your shoulders, your arms, your entire upper body. Good. Just keep going. We've got a couple more reps left to go. Get that body nice and low. Bring it down and up. Bring it down and up. Keep going. Last two to go. Two. Last one. Awesome. Come back up, releasing both legs out into a plank position. Let's just hold it here. If you're getting too tired, modify, bring the knees down to the floor. Otherwise, I want you to hold it here. Imagine as if somebody placed a ruler on your back. You want to match the line of that ruler. So be completely straight with your body. Shoulders above your wrist. Breathing deeply, pulling the navel into the spine. You're almost done. Beautiful job. Last inhale. And exhale. You're going to bring the hips up into a downward dog quickly. Inhale. And then exhale, hopping forward to the front of your mat and making your way down to your mat for our next exercise. Rolling like a ball into boat to canoe. So from here, let's roll it back. Bring it back to center. Hands to the floor, extend, bring it in. Now, if you wanna make this more challenging for your round two, you can keep your hands up the whole time. So bring it in, extend the legs, bring it in. So take whatever version that feels best for you. Let's roll it back, bring it to center, hands on the floor or not, and in. Roll like a ball, back to canoe, extend, and in. Roll like a ball, come back to center with control, extend, and in. Now make sure that when you come into your boat posture that your feet do not touch the floor. This is where the core is working hard to keep you balanced, to keep you controlled. Extend and in. Roll it back. Back to boat. Extend to canoe and in. Roll it back and center. Extend and in. Roll it back and center. Extend and in, last rep, bring it back. And boat, canoe, and boat, awesome. Let's go ahead and cross those ankles and bring yourself back into your downward facing dog just for a quick little stretch here. Open up the shoulders, the hamstrings, and then bend the knees and come back down into your child's pose. Let's take a quick break again, so grab a drink of water if you need to. Or just stay in your child's pose and just feel that nice stretch through the back, through the shoulders. Take this minute for yourself here. All right, let's come back from our break. So get back into your child's pose if you're not already there. We're in our finale stage now. We just got a couple more exercises to go. They're not gonna be easy, so I want you to give it all you got. All right, so our first exercise, let's come back into a plank position. I'm gonna demonstrate the first version, simply stepping into one corner, step back with both feet plank, other side, just two steps in, two steps out. So one more time. Step, step, step out, step, step, step out. So if you like to take it, go ahead and continue. Just follow my lead. Step in with both feet in, and then out, out. The more advanced version is to hop both feet in, hop back into plank, other side, and plank. All right, let's take your version. Bring it in and out. So either step, step, 
or a hop. To the side and center. To the side, back to plank. Get really close to the elbow with your knees, whether you're stepping or hopping. Good, in and out. Bring it in and out, nice and controlled. You're almost done. And out, bring it in and out. Bring it in and out, push through it. Last one, plank position. Great job, you guys, come on down to your elbows now. We're gonna hold our elbow plank. Just bring yourself down to your elbows, straight line with the body, breathe through it. The last few exercises of the class are always the most difficult. Just stay with your breath and you'll make it through. All right, next exercise are dolphin planks. Lift your hips up like a downward dog on your elbows, and then on your exhale, you're gonna drop right into that elbow plank again with lots of power. So let's bring it up. Exhale, plank for two. Bring it up. Exhale, plank for three. Bring it up. Hips down for four. Bring it up into your elbow plank for five. Up and six. Lots of power here as you come down. Exhale, seven. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, eight. Inhale, lots of power. Nine. Lift up. And 10. Great job, lift the hips up. And now from here, come back into your elbow plank and just hip dip to the side and other side. Two, and side. Three, four, five, six. So just move from the waistline. Again, wonderful exercise to work the oblique muscles here. Great way to trim the waistline and really define that entire area of your body. Great job, last few more dips. Keep going. Amazing, last four, three, two, one. Awesome, all right, come on down to your knees and just release into your child's pose. Quick second break here. We got one last abdominal exercise to go after this quick little mini break. So just stay with me, breathe deeply. Inhale. Exhale, let's slowly bring ourselves up and step forward to the front of your mat. Deep breath in and then exhale, make your way over to your mat. We're gonna take our double leg extensions here. So let's come on down to your back, bring your knees into the chest. So let's start with the first easier version and then take it up a notch if you need to. So hands at your side, head down, simply extend the legs and bring them in. So inhale, extend, bring it in. Inhale, extend, bring it in. Now continue with this or take it up a notch by extending the arms at the same time. So open and in. So just keep going, whatever level fits you best. And in, inhale, exhale, extend, and in. So just be careful when the legs extend that your lower back does not arch. We wanna keep that back grounded to the floor as much as you can. Good, inhale as you open, exhale in, inhale open, Exhale in. This is our last exercise. I want you to give it all you got. Extend and in. Extend and in. Inhale, open. Exhale, in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You got it a couple more times left. Open and in. Open and in. Open and in beautiful all right come on down with your head and your back feet onto the mat let's just stretch out those core muscles in a bridge position simply lift the pelvis up to the sky lengthening the abdominal muscles keeping the heels your feet flat on the mat here if you like to feel a deeper stretch through the core reach the arms over your head so we're lengthening that upper body even more here just breathing deeply. Now this is our opportunity now to start to calm down the breath. Really focus on the inhalation and the exhalation out. Lift the hips even higher. And then releasing through each vertebra of your spine as you come down. Wonderful job, you guys. Give yourself a big hug here. Bring your knees into your chest. 
begin to rock side to side, massaging that lumbar spine. Good, nice and gentle here. You can slow it down now. Beautiful, another inhale and exhale. Now slowly bring yourself up to seated and then transition yourself over to your mat with your hands and feet. We're gonna take our cobra stretch. So drop the hips down. Your shoulders again are staying above your wrist and just open up through the heart center. Breathing deeply. Again, this is a wonderful stretch for the entire body. Not only the abdominals, but also the hip flexors. Focusing on the inhale and the exhale as you open yourself up to the sky. Nice deep stretch here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, great job, bend the knees. And then release yourself back into a child's pose just for a quick second, rounding out the spine in the opposite direction. Arms reaching forward as you take your deep breath through your nose. Long exhale out through your mouth. Great job, inhale. Exhale. Just pay attention to your heart beating in your chest. We're slowing things down now. Breathing deeply in and out. You did an incredible job today pushing through this class. Our first cardio class is always the most challenging. And I promise you, the more you stick to this program, the easier these classes will become. So be patient with yourself. Be proud of yourself. You did an amazing job no matter what level you took. No matter how fast you went, you did exactly what you needed to do today. Wonderful, let's go ahead and come on up. So just bring your hips back up into your downward facing dog, stretch it out. Breathing deeply, feel that stretch through the upper back, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, elongating the neck, spreading those fingers wide. Allow the heels to sink down, inhale. Exhale out. Great stretch for the hamstrings, for the calf muscles here. So just stay and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Bend your knees, walk forward to the front of your mat, and then slowly make your way back down to your mat all the way into our final stretch, pencil stretch. So you're just gonna reach the arms over your head, legs together, arms together, lengthening your body, the opposite sides of the room so really just focus on reaching away from your hands and feet breathing deeply just focusing on the inhalation and the exhalation sending yourself gratitude for making through this class today for beginning this journey with me today like I said before it will only get easier from here. Listen to your body and enjoy this process. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Just taking this opportunity to still your body, to still your mind before we get on with our day today. Just focusing on the simple act of inhalation and exhalation. No other thoughts, no other worries. Give yourself a moment to just be before you have to take on the world. Inhale and exhale. Let's slowly come back up to seated position. Just come on over to the center of your mat. Sit in a comfortable position here with your feet crossed in front of you. Great, and just take a deep breath in. Let's reach both arms up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, release the arms back down to your knees. And one final breath. 
Finishing off this practice together, inhale, reach up. Big stretch up to the sky. And exhale, release the hands down. Great job and congratulations on finishing day one, and I'll see you tomorrow.